Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, that's me. I'm here today to show you how to mark up a screenshot in Google Jamboard. So anything that you can screenshot, you can insert into your Google Jamboard. So pretend this is a Google Doc, pretend my student has done a lot of work in it, and you should just Google how to screenshot and then whatever device you're using, I'm using a Chromebook at the moment, but let's pretend I want to insert that into a Google Jam. So we go into Jamboard, and this is the web version of Jamboard at jamboard.google.com. And let's go to image, and let's just select files from our device. And there it is. And there it is. And now I can do a few things. I can move it, I can expand it, I can delete or duplicate it as well. And then I have a few tools, including a pen to do some things. The, uh, the fourth pen is called the brush, but it's really a highlighter. Look how this is gonna work. You see, that's a highlighter. So you can highlight. You can also throw in sticky notes with feedback. Uh, this is empty. Yeah, because I didn't. I took a, a teacher file, not a, t a student file, but you get my point. You can use those sticky notes. We also have shapes now. So if we want to use the shapes, we could do an arrow. And so we'll just draw an arrow from one thing to another, and maybe let's turn it one way or another. And you can make that arrow on the inside. You can make it transparent if you want. You see that? So that's kind of cool. All these fun things we can do. Lastly, we can just throw in some text. So this is great. You know, I don't know. I'm giving very uh, conflicting feedback here. But you see my point there is that anything on our screen that we can screen capture, we can then insert into Jamboard where we can annotate it. We can do all sorts of stuff with it. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.